Hello, I'm Henry Avila with Chevalier Machinery, and today I'm going to demonstrate manually balancing a 14 inch wheel. Now, first, I'm going to start off by explaining what tools will be needed for balancing the wheel. First of all, we'll need a set of Allen wrenches, a balancing arbor, of course, our 14 inch wheel with flange, and a soft hammer. First, I'm going to begin by removing the three balancing weights around the wheel flange. I begin by lying my 14 inch wheel flat down on the table so it's easier to access my weights without the wheel falling over. Using a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench, I'm gonna loosen up my balancing weights. I'm going to loosen these up just enough to get the weight out. And put these aside. Now I'm going to raise my wheel back up. I'm going to stand it back up on its one side. Next, I'm going to get my balancing arbor and place it in the ID of my wheel. Uh, your balancing arbor is going to have one large diameter side and one small diameter side. The small diameter side is going to go in through the back of the wheel flange until it stops. Once the balancing arbor is placed all the way into the wheel flange, I'll give it a couple taps with a soft hammer just to make sure it's solid in there. Next, we're going to place this on the balancing roller stander. The balancing arbor has a stem on both ends, on the front end and on the back end. You'll place the stem in between each roller on the balancing stand on the front side and back side. Next, I'll give my wheel a small spin. This will allow the wheel to rotate freely until the heavy side settles at the bottom. As you can see, it'll go uh, clockwise and counterclockwise until the heavy side finally uh, settles at the bottom. Now that you can see my wheel is still slightly moving, it's going to settle with the bottom, the heavy side on the bottom. Once it comes to a complete stop, we're going to grab one of our weights and a two and a half millimeter wrench, and we're going to add one weight at the 12 o'clock position. After placing my weight, my first weight at the 12 o'clock position, I'm now going to turn this 180 degrees so that the weight is at the 6 o'clock position. I am now going to set my other two weights evenly across on opposite ends of the other side of the flange. So approximately 30 degrees apart from the center, place one weight. And place the second weight 30 degrees from the center as well. Next, I'm going to rotate my wheel 90 degrees to see which side is heavier.
as you can see, the side with the two weights is heavy now. It's settling at the bottom. So I'm going to move each weight away from each other the same distance. Then I'm going to check it again. Moving it 90 degrees. And still noticing that the side with the two weights is still heavier. I'm going to repeat these steps until my wheel is completely balanced, at which the wheel wouldn't fall either clockwise or counterclockwise. I've adjusted my weights further from the center evenly. Then I'm going to rotate my wheel 90 degrees again to check to see what side is heavier. And as I can see, the same side is still heavy. Which means I need to move my weights further apart. I'm going to continue these steps until the wheel doesn't fall neither clockwise nor counterclockwise. When the wheel is fully balanced, you can rotate the wheel to any position and it will hold its position. So I'm going to continue moving my weights over and then we'll speed things up to the end result. Okay, now that i finished balancing the wheel, I should be able to rotate the wheel at any position without it continuing to rotate. I could stop it at any point and it should stay steady. This indicates that the wheel is balanced all the way through. That concludes the wheel balancing using a roller type wheel balancer. Also remember you can use the same type of balancing principles with a smaller 8 inch wheel all the way up to the 14 inch wheel. Thank you. If you have any questions, please contact us directly or look us up online.